and Moya Yim at the opening ceremony of the training of the central agents in the TTC states and federal capital territory which is holding today. And here in Cross River State, as I said earlier, we're in the premises of Cross River Agricultural Development, welcoming you all to this training. It gives me immense pleasure to be here with you today on this important program of building capacity of agricultural extension agents in the TTC states and the federal capital territory. This is a key activity in the implementation of the federal government's policy on revitalization of agricultural extension delivery in Nigeria. I would also like to seize this opportunity to recognize the efforts of the technical committee who made several recommendations that included this capacity building program to bridge the gaps identified in the performance of the frontline extension agents who are the major link between farmers and research stroke innovations. The noticeable declining number and low skills have hampered adoption of best practices and new innovations in the agricultural sector. This is shown in the resultant low productivity and lack of adherence to standards causing rejection of Nigerian produce abroad. The drive by the present administration to revitalize agricultural extension services in Nigeria is to help farmers and value chain actors to make effective use of productive forces and advances in information technology to improve the livelihoods of rural populations, create jobs, and promote sustainable agricultural and socioeconomic development of the economy. The only way this can be achieved is to reposition the ADP system through training, provision of equipment and tools, as well as funding to carry out their primary mandate and responsibilities to farmers. The current situation posed by COVID-19 has brought new challenges to food supply and youth employment. It is predictable that an effective ADP system will disseminate and transfer the needed technologies for productivity enhancement and rural income generation for youth and farmers, consequently stemming the challenges of food supply and employment. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the intervention from the Federal Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development is geared towards enhancing the ability of existing extension agents in the field and infusing new skills in the youth who are interested in the agricultural sector. The resource persons are seasoned practitioners, both in research, knowledge sharing, and learning in the agricultural extension subsector. Therefore, I employ you to take advantage of their presence and interactions with you to build your capacity and knowledge base which will prepare you to face the challenges of the emerging world of agriculture and technology. It is my sincere hope that this training workshop will be given the seriousness and diligence it deserves. Thank you all for listening and God 